The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I thought I'd talk about the recent trailer that Sega dropped about some new and upcoming games that they're working on, built upon some classics. And I want to talk about my thoughts about this, what do I think of it, and ask you, what do you think Sega needs to revitalize and go back and make a new version of? And so, you know, for many, many years, uh, you know, Sega has delved into their classics. They've either, you know, offered many versions of, you know, this classic Sega Genesis console. They had too many versions of that. And, you know, a lot of people were excited about that. They emphasize a lot of their nostalgia and classics off of Sonic. And there's nothing wrong with that. I know there's a lot of people that really appreciate and enjoy Sonic games. They've had several uh, they had a new 3D platformer last year, and they offered kind of like a, a new like TD, a, a new 2D version of Sonic this year. And so, you know, I, I love Sonic, and I, I think a lot of people wanted Sega to kind of branch out and maybe offer and, and go back to some other of their franchises. And I'm so excited about seeing this trailer. It just, my mind is blown. And so the trailer's going to be running in the background, and, you know, uh, you, you can look and see what you think of it, you know, and it's really cool. It's about, you know, it's about like a minute and a half, and uh, really, really sweet to see Sega look at some of their popular franchises and are in development now and more. I wonder what else is in development. This is probably a handful of the games that are far along. Uh, first and foremost, Jet Set Radio. And, you know, for me, uh, that that is not my favorite franchise. Uh, it came out a little bit later. But, you know, for many people, you know, that's going to be uh, a very, very sweet series. And people are going to want to uh, play a new version of it. And it looks great. I saw in this trailer a 2D Shinobi. Really cool art style as well. And, you know, Shinobi is something that they haven't uh, done anything with in a while. And I'm really excited to see what they do. And I'm a big Shinobi fan. You know, Revenge of Shinobi was one of the first Sega Genesis games that I played back in the day. And, you know, back in 89. And, you know, uh, it's been a while. It's been a while since there's been a new Shinobi and hopefully, fingers crossed, that they can get it done right. So far, it looks great. It's got that classic Shinobi gameplay. And what I've seen looks awesome. Now, next, I saw a glimpse of a 3D Streets of Rage. Now, this one's kind of uh, people may have mixed feelings about. And so, you know, for me, you know, Streets of Rage 4 was brilliant. And, you know, a great homage to the classic yet still keeping to its roots. So this this looks like a full-on like 3D Streets of Rage. And you know what? I'm gonna give it a try. You know, uh, you know, I have to play something before I have my full opinions. But I'm open to Streets of Rage, you know, being going beyond a 2D game. But I have to say Streets of Rage 4 kept that bar very, very, very high. And you know what? I I, I love what they did with that. You know this I, I, I'm going to give it a try. I mean, it looks okay. Uh, it wasn't my favorite in the trailer for sure. Um, but you know what? I'm a big Streets of Rage fan and I love brawlers. So I am going to go forward with open thoughts and hopefully it'll be great. Now let's talk about Crazy Taxi. Uh, once I saw Crazy Taxi in this trailer, probably of all the games, it looks really good. Um, looks like there might be some multiplayer um, really, really happy to see them go back to that. You know, Crazy Taxi is just a, just a really iconic classic game that Sega's done. And, you know, the first one is my favorite and, you know, played it even in the arcades. And so this looks like a, a great modernization of it. And I'm really hoping that it can, it can, it can come through. And really of all the games that they showed probably in the trailers, this is up there with one of the best. And so, uh, last and definitely not least, Golden Axe. And Golden Axe, you know, Golden Axe was done, I do believe, for Xbox. Was it Xbox 360? Um, there was a there was a 3D Golden Axe, and it wasn't that great. Um, this looks pretty good, 
And so going back and, and, and taking that classic franchise and doing something with it new, I love that Sega's doing this. And I think this is going to open up some possibilities for some other things. And I like the direction they're taking. They're taking a modern take on some of these franchises. And I think it's important. I think you can only go back and, and revisit and offer the original ROM so long before they get long in the tooth and then you have to do something new. Whether or not it's better than the originals, at least offering a new experience to add to uh, an already popular franchise. And I know people are gonna have different opinions about that. I know people are gonna say, well, Sega just needs to offer this or that or brand new things, not go back and, and offer these in a different version that may or may not be better. I think Sega's doing the right thing. I'm really excited about it. They're offering uh, new versions of their classic IPs that aren't Sonic. You know, so many times Sega has gone back to that, you know, mine and offered, uh, you know, 23 versions of Sonic. Now, there's nothing wrong with Sonic. Uh, you know, I like Sonic. I'm a Sonic fan. But there's other franchises I think they get overlooked. Now, the, the, the reason why is that Sonic's super popular. You know, the movies have been popular. It's, it's, it's their version of Mario. And, you know, for the most part, many of the Sonic games overall have been pretty good. And even the recent ones seem to be pretty good. I haven't checked out the most latest one, but uh, it's definitely on my playlist that I need to do maybe over the holidays. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, you know, this trailer was amazing. Um, I wonder what else they're working on. I wonder if they're working on an Altered Beast. I would love an Altered Beast. And maybe they're testing the waters to see what gets traction and what doesn't, what people talk about, what people want. But there's other franchises. I know that you in the comments below are definitely going to let me know. What are the franchises Sega needs to revisit? And, you know, I give them a thumbs up. You know, I'm a huge Sega fan. Uh, I've been collecting Sega for many years and playing their games. And, you know what, I really like this, what they're doing here. It's, it's classic Sega. They even have the classic Sega at the end of the trailer. I love that. And I really think that uh, they're in the right direction and give them a thumbs up. So I'm looking forward to playing some of these games. Hopefully I'll be able to talk about some of these games when they come out and show you gameplay on my channel when these arrive. I don't know release dates on them, but fingers crossed and I look forward to covering it. So thank you so much for coming to my channel. It's been a crazy year for me and I want to thank you for all the ongoing support. It means the world to me. You folks are wonderful and beautiful, and if you like what you see, you like the content that I cover, consider hitting the like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. This is the Immortal John Hancock. You take care.